STDC holds talk with government. Talk positive but not final, says General Secretary, retired Colonel L. Lokendro. For the first time in 20 years, the government of India holds peace talk with six Naga rebel groups in Nagaland. MSU warns those defiling Manipuri culture before people of other states. And 2.5 kg IED found planted at postal officer's gate at Kaiku Muslim Makalikai. Hello and welcome to ISTV English News. I'm Subula Kangabum. Let's see the news in detail. A delegation of Settled Tribe Demand Committee comprising 21 members, led by its president, Dr. Y. Mohendro, and General Secretary, retired Colonel L. Lokendro, held talks on the demand of the committee on inclusion of Mite Maite in the list of Settled Tribes of the Indian Constitution with the representatives of the state government this evening. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar and Works Minister T.S. Biswajit represented the state government in the talks that was held at the conference hall of the Deputy Chief Minister's office at the new Secretariat complex. The talks began from 4.30 p.m. and concluded at 6 p.m. After the talks, General Secretary and Spokesperson of STDC, retired Colonel L. Lokendro, told the waiting media persons that the talk was positive but not final and will extend to next round. The STDC made its stance on the issue very clear before the government representatives and the government also plays its observations. No final resolution was adopted at the talk and will continue at a time when the government informs the STDC, Lokendro said. Discussions are quite thorough discussion on the topic. Aduga, akoi na thamma thamda baje koi thamma yaab thamma mojo hai bhi yaab hai re. Discussion do kuch positive ni. Aduga si amuk sitting se na di. Thamuk si loi bhi aroi makha ta na dum tau gini. Gamengi so positive khong thang se konsu welcome tau bhi. Aduga, adu lai bhi results so positive atmosphere amdi lai re. For the first time, the government of India held peace talk with the working committee of six Naga national political groups and NPGS at Tumukedima Police Complex at Dimapur yesterday. Chairman of the groups, Kitobi, led the members of the groups who represented the groups in the peace talk with the representatives of the government of India. The talk was held from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the police complex at Dimapur yesterday. Representatives of the six groups, namely GPRN, NSCN, Kitobi, Jimomi, Naga National Council and NC, Federal Government of Nagaland, FGN, NSCN Reformation, National People's Government of Nagaland, Non-Accord, and NNC, GDRN, NA, Government of Democratic Republic of Nagaland, Non-Accord, attended the Naga Peace Talk. The six groups are the first rebel groups with whom the Government of India has initiated peace talk after the center signed framework agreement with the NSC and IM in 2015. Interlocutor of the Naga peace talks, R.N. Rabi said, the Naga issue cannot be resolved in bits and pieces. The groups who have been involved at the grassroots level cannot be taken lightly. The peace talk cannot afford to take different resolutions for different Naga organizations, R.N. Rabi said. All Manipur Students Union has informed the press release to the parents and family members of students studying outside Manipur that untoward incidents might occur in future if they fail to check the behavior of the awards. An organization called Machu formed specifically to organize festivals sold tickets at the rate of 100 rupee per ticket on the night of October 21 for a Thabal Tongwa program which was held at the Shera Ground, Delhi. Terming the incident as unfortunate, the press release stated that many working men and women and students were seen wearing indecent clothes during the event. Many photographs of the event went viral on social media. Alien culture borrowed from other states can be the cause of destroying Manipuri culture. Some Manipuris outside the state are trying to undermine the true essence of the traditional Thabal Tongwa.
The organizers of the festival are to be blamed for allowing women to wear indecent clothes during the Tabal Chongba. MSU has cautioned all organizations outside the state not to organize Tabal Chongba as a means of earning income. The traditional Tabal Chongba festival should be organized only during Yaosheng and Chairaoba festivals, the press release aided. An IED weighing about 2.5 kg was found near the gate of Postal Assistant of Post Office, Hazi Abdul Kudus, 35 of Kaiku Muslim Makalekai. Bomb Disposal Squad of Police Department has disposed the bomb at Wakha Chingkong in Imphal East District. Meanwhile, residents of the area staged protest demonstration against the incident. A woman who took part in the protest demonstration said, Placing a bomb in crowded place is very unfortunate. Any kind of misunderstanding must be solved through talks. She appealed to all not to repeat such act in the future. Si lekai si da lai bom miam merak si da bom tampi dia pasai kari mara lai begino masih seng dok piru atau buat tanda. Iko ini nungai jadi miam miam merak si da bom tampi pasai. Nana nak kari tau bagi bom si tampi dia mahu seng dok piru. Mangun deng hoi mangun deng ngapi be ya bom mara lai dia kena ngapi yo. The Sam has strongly opposed naming of the newly constructed 5th Hostel of Manipur University as Netaji Subhastandra Bose Hostel. Speaking to media person at the head office of the Sam at Sagolban, Secretary of the Sam N. Edison said, since the birth of the Sam, the organization has been trying to preserve the cultural and tradition of the state. Meanwhile, giving the name as Netaji Subhastandra Bose Hostel for the newly constructed 5th Hostel, which is scheduled to be inaugurated on October 25, can not be taken lightly. In protest against the incident, name plates of the hostel were destroyed by the students. He further said, authority concerns should not forget national leaders of the state. He questioned whether there is a hidden agenda behind giving the name. He claimed that names of the great leaders should be given to hills, lakes and rivers of the state. If the authority concern fails to put into action, appropriate response will be given from time to time. Tunggal nama rilis ni buat authority sini. Yari macai di si gumba Manipur ga. Cana ba, aku ke sagun ba, adu gumba. Kena sing maming sing. Thon biu, macam thon kita ni hebat wafam sima. Tama kalau ni nak hujir sih, tunggal tunggal ba. School sing, college sing. Kuda mana Manipur leh riba, tunggal tunggal ba. Aku ke district sini leh riba. No boleh jaya school sing. House ke maming thon matam da. Nilgiri house, udai giri house kaya na. Cuma ni thon begini mahu tak. Macam sih, aku ke lamdam sih ke. Jangan bawa lamdam sih, lagi jadi bawa cingpa tu real sih, kumpa masih lagi maming lagi tua laga, kau lagi lamdam sih, belus meyama masih kau ini promote, tau nak bawa kau puna, kau nama bawa tu ayah bawa kau sih, kau jadi. Following the incessant rains for nearly two days in the state, the bank of the swelling river flowing through Thobal district bridged about 70 feet near SK Cinema Hall at Uchiwa Wangma around 7:30 p.m. last night. Many houses, properties, fish farms and crops have been inundated. The bridge of embankment occurred in the jurisdiction of Ward No. 14 of Maivam Uchiwa Gram Panchayat and Youth Social Development Association, Uchiwa Wangma in Thaubal District. The Youth Social Development Association, Uchiwa Wangma, has drawn the attention of the authority concerned to take up necessary steps to ease the difficulty faced by the people of the area at the earliest. The 28th Foundation Day of All Manipur Women's Voluntary Association was held at Manipur Press Club today. Director of Art and Culture K. Shushila Devi, President of Poirei Leimarol Mairapai B. Apunba Manipur L. Mem Chowbi Devi, and President of Amawoba Y. Kunjarani Devi were the main guests at the function. Director Dr. Shushila said, it is need of the hour to have good elders for an unrest society. Women have a major role to play to bring changes in the society. Nupasi patut betul le, aisyu tau ke? Hai bagi wakan tau raga dia ikut sama aja tu. Pura mangmin na bagi, mohon dah lakukan ni. Adun mana sohi bese, kari tu sohi bano hai bese. Koi na pun na gian tau minar bama tau masih dah. Ai koi na apa apa kuna? Apa apa sama aja amat dah. Semak pa hai bese, ya amno maru oi hai bese so ayak tam jeningi. Tomtin Event Management and Selection Services is organizing a beauty pageant entitled. Manipur Calendar Girl. 
Speaking at the press conference held at Manipur Press Club, Managing Director R.K. Ruben Seth, two contestants from 12 different communities will be selected for the grand finale and a cash prize of 1 lakh and other perks worth 1 lakh will be given to the winner. Ruben added that for the first time in Manipur, people will be cho chosen the, the best through social media. First time about reality show, um, voting rights, that's fully dependent on that. Uh, judging the no more kitang than that. No mid marini chupna, mahani chupna, uh, uh, ma'am, uh, just to be aware about even a makami and hygienic. Additional Chief Secretary Agriculture Dr. Suhel Akhtar today stressed on the necessity to increase agricultural yields and fix the prices of agricultural producers. Dr. Suhel was speaking at the inauguration of model training organized by ICAR Research Center, Northeast Hill Region, Manipur Center at ICAR Complex, Lamphelpat. The training will continue till October 31. Additional Director of Agriculture K.H. Mohendro and Director ICAR Meghalaya Dr. Narendra Prakash were also present on the occasion. Dr. Suhel also aided that the government is taking up various welfare programs in conjunction with different departments and urged the farmers to take advantage of such training provided by the departments and increase agricultural yields. And is to train the farmer in such a manner that he can take the best out of it by integrating the practices of poultry or piggery or uh, pisciculture along with agriculture and settlement. I am sure this training will go a long way and ultimately we will be in a position to impart this knowledge in the field to our farmer friend. Today, Eastern Regional Writers Meet, organized by Sahitya Academy and Ashangba Communication, kicked off at Lamyan Vashanglian Palace Compound. Officer in charge of Sahitya Academy, Kolkata, Gautam Paul, Convener of Eastern Regional Board, Sahitya Academy, Gangadhar, renowned Manipuri Theatre Director, Ratan Tiam and coordinator of Ashangba Communication, A.C. Nitarjit, among others, attended the inaugural function. Speaking on the occasion, Ratan Tiam said, writing books without spirituality and humanity will never last long. Many writers are today shying away from writing books due to lack of publishers and readers. Without giving trust, giving more quality in the language in writing, it will be difficult to survive because many dialects are already extinct now and smaller languages will get a struggle for survival. A dead body of a man was found today around 4.30 p.m. at Chairao Ching under Lamphel Police Station. The man has been identified as Ton Thang Maring, 38, son of Ton Thang Dalmai Maring from Tarung Grace Colony. Sources said a red color Honda Activa bearing registration number MN01V3064 was seen parked on the roadside since yesterday. Suspicious residents today looked around the area and discovered the dead body. Family of the deceased yesterday lodged a missing complaint at Lamphil Police. The deceased was able to identify after the registration number of the Honda Activa matched the registration number number mentioned in the complaint. Additional SP Priyadarshini and SDPO Lamphil Police rushed to the spot and investigated the case. Commuters face extreme hardship as National Highway 150 in Faltra Chanpur Road has been worsening day by day. The rate of road mishaps has been increasing due to the pathetic condition of the road. Even though Works Minister T.S. Biswajit had announced that the main roads in the state will be repaired by December, repairing of Infaltra Chanpur Road has not been started till today. Besides, the number of potholes on the road has been increasing. A woman vendor of Bishnubur Market expressed the difficulty faced by the people due to the bad condition of the road. I 
a bus driver of Ningtaukong to Imphal passenger service said the time of travel from Ningtaukong to Imphal was 40 minutes earlier, but now it takes one hour to reach Imphal. Besides, the bad condition of the road has created a lot of inconveniences to the commuters. Lambi thongi haru ko dil lambi phalak tra gana accident toh bade helai aswo na yam ni helai lambi phalak gana kudong jawa khara di helai adu bo chem badi chem ningi lambi je ha na gile mbo fibam badi yam thi ne sokja lebo jikse lambi ki fibam je adu ba thu matam di lambi je chem ningi chaka da chaka ki mai ke dege. The Red Cross Society Thobal District has condoled the demise of former minister Thodam Krishna, who was a member of the management committee of Red Cross Society Thobal District. Deputy Labour Commissioner E. Tomba asserted that the delay in distributing money for labour card holders is due to the advantage taken by non-construction workers. He was speaking at the third Foundation Day of Manipur Building Construction Workers Welfare Union of Kongampat GP and Loitang Lekintabi area at Kongampat Community Hall. Member of Potsangbam Jila Parisat L. Bobi, Registering Officer of Manipur Building and Under Construction Workers Welfare Board L. Ibonta, Pradhan of Kongapat Gram Panchayat and members attended the program. Class 10 past students of workers of Kongampat and Loitang Lekintabi were encouraged by distributing awards. Deputy Labour Commissioner E. Tomba further said efforts of implementing smart cards with an aim to allocate proper holder of labour card by Manipur Building and Under Construction Workers Welfare Board is a good step. Such steps will enable availability of benefits to the original construction workers. Wahingbam Momocha, who is said to have been arrested on October 22 by a team of Imphal East District Police led by S.I. Haubam Sachindra from Singjamai Kongba Road opposite Singjamai Mata Cinema has no connection whatsoever with KCP or the Miyamgi Pingang Lanmi. Member in charge of information and publicity of KCP, S. Mangal, made this clarification in the press release. S. Mangal further pointed out that the party neither sent any demand letter for money to the Ideal Girls College nor forcibly collected 50,000 rupees from the college authority. Momota, who is said to be involved in collecting the money, is in no way way connected with the party, he asserted. He is not a KCP cadre. He might have been someone who collected the money on pretext of being a cadre of some insurgent organization. Some people have been trying to tarnish the image of the KCP and that will not be tolerated. The sad person, Momocha's activities will be strictly monitored by the KCP, as Mangal categorically stated in his press release. And in the national news we have... On Monday, the Supreme Court said that people do not need to stand up in cinema halls to prove their patriotism, asking the center to consider amending the rules that regulate playing of the national anthem before a movie. Observing that the society did not need moral policing, the bench headed by Chief Justice Deepak Mishra said that in the future, the government will want people to stop wearing T-shirts and shorts to cinemas saying this would disrespect the national anthem. The bench said it will not allow the government to shoot from its shoulder and asked it to take a call either way on the issue. The government has until 9 January to respond, which is when the case will be heard next. Here is how the case evolved since the Supreme Court ruled last year. 
And before we wind up the top stories once again. STDC holds talk with government. Talk positive but not final, says General Secretary, retired Colonel L. Lokendro. For the first time in 20 years, the government of India holds peace talk with six Naga rebel groups in Nagaland. MSU warns those defiling Manipuri culture before people of other states. And 2.5 kg IED found planted at postal officer's gate at Kaiku Muslim Makalikai. Thank you so much for joining with us and good night.